guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another informed Silver Player review. Today, we're going to be looking at Jose Isquado, who is the left forward or left winger from the Belgium League. He is Colombian, and he's a very exciting looking player, possibly because of that 94 pace. I've used his non inform, absolutely loved it. Let's see what I think of this guy. But before we do, if you haven't already checked out my second episode of Road to Silver Glory, definitely go and check it out. Comment with which players you want me to put into the team with the money that we've gained. And get ready for episode three because something quite exciting has happened during the filming. And that'll be out hopefully tomorrow. Also, I think tonight there'll be a second upload. There'll be uh, informed Jake Livermore. And I'm really hoping that Weigel is going to get a team of the season tonight. That would be absolutely awesome because I love that guy. And anyway, let's get into looking at Jose Esquerdo. He has 94 pace, 80 dribbling, 73 shooting, 72 passing, and he looks awesome. He only cost me 43k. He was going for like 100k until today for some reason. Really random. Obviously got those four-star skills. Really nice to have. Mental and physical look absolutely awesome. Really, really high acceleration, agility, balance. Sprint speed is also really high. It seems to be at the moment you've either got really high acceleration or really high sprint speed of the players that I've been doing. But this guy has both. So he's going to hit top speed early and he's going to he's going to have a really high top speed. Skill attributes really, really solid as well. Long shots seem high. I'm going to talk about that. Obviously, he's got high medium work rates, which is really cool, especially if you're going to play him at a left forward role. And he's only 23 years old so quite an exciting player in real life anyway guys so what did i think of this guy well this guy as far as speed dribbling is one of the best that i have used he was absolutely phenomenal at taking it round people and some of the time he didn't even need to take it round people because he was just fast enough for me to just you know flick the ball ahead of him and no one's going to catch him because he's going to get top speed as i said straight away and his top speed is absolutely insane uh, the slight negatives are his long shots even though they're quite high Felt like some of the worst long shots I have used. Really, really disappointing. And when I saw that 81 long shot or 80 or whatever it is, I thought, you know what, this is going to be all right. But, you know, there's a couple of clips in here where they were absolutely dire. And uh, finishing in the box is a little bit better. Sort of average. Uh, not Nothing spectacular. Probably just above average. But it sort of got to the point where I could get so far higher ahead of the defenders. I had so much time that I could finish. Um, quite easily, which was really cool. Dribbling was so fluent. Crossing was pretty decent. I didn't feel like he was the weakest player I ever used, but he did feel weak. And yeah, overall, not a bad player at all. I think he definitely suits that left forward role. Left wing out of push. I wouldn't play in left mid because he really, really does stay forward. And as I've said before, he is probably one of the quickest silvers I've used all year. That 94 pace is insane. I can't emphasize enough. I'm not a, I'm not a pace or anything like that, but I, I loved using him. I really did. Really high agility, so he seems to just glide past people. He seems to hold the ball really well. And as for his negatives, I've talked about them. One negative I need to say is I he has only like 30-something free kicks. That is some of the worst free kick taking stats I have seen this year. Probably on a silver for a long time, to be honest. Especially one who's in an attacking position with 73 shooting and relatively decent long shots. Anyway, I've given this guy an 8.7 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed him. I can't emphasize him enough, I emphasize enough how good he would be in that Pro League side. I might do a hybrid in the Pro League because... Obviously, with Cabasale and obviously one of my favourite players, Leon Bailey on the right wing, there are so many exciting players. If you'd like me to do a pro league side or some sort of hybrid maybe around the pro league and another league, let me know. And as for his, uh, Josie Esquerdo, I really enjoyed him. I really recommend him. I'm hoping he's going to continue to come down in price, probably to about 30k. If he does, definitely recommend you going picking him up. Anyway, guys, for end chat today, which team of the season, obviously we've had quite a lot of the silvers, but which team of the season silver are you most looking forward to still coming out? Obviously, I've said Weigel's, uh, Weigel's hopefully coming out tonight, which would be absolutely awesome. I'd be so excited about that. I'll get a review out as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Cheers, guys.